guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and do a product review of something that I saw quite a while ago. It's kind of crazy. It's called the Vamp Stamp. Um, I know it sounds kind of like a really weird word, but it's basically a stamp that does a winged eyeliner on the side of your eye. Um, it doesn't do like the full wing, so it just does like the tip part, which is usually the part I really struggle with. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a review today to see if anyone um, would possibly be interested in it. Um, so I'm sitting here, I redid my office this weekend. Yesterday I kind of went on a crazy organizational streak, um, so everything is a little bit prettier, but um, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and everything with you. Um, so let me go ahead and pull you a little. Okay, so now that we're nice and close, um, you can kind of see everything up front. I really don't have much makeup on today. I went ahead and I shopped all day with my mom um, and just kind of ran errands and all my makeup is just completely off my face by now. Um, I was wearing the Sonia Kashuk satin matte, satin photo, photo focus, found, I don't know. I mix them all up. It was the focus satin matte foundation. Um, sorry, I had it written down there. Um, but yeah, so I basically was wearing that today and it's kind of pretty much off my face. Um, and so you can kind of see, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. It came in this really big box, um, and the only thing in here is, like, you can see there's, like, an order form in there. And honestly, like, did I have to pay for shipping on this? Because that would really suck. Um, I don't even know if I pay for shipping because this invoice has, like, nothing on it. Um, because, like, this is a ridiculous box for this tiny package. This could easily be sent over and, like... A little thing but the packaging is pretty nice it gives you like instructions on it I already kind of popped it open so I was really curious last night um, but you pull it open comes out of here has a vamp stamp on it pop it open um, and it has like it looks like it is the same exact size so I guess you're supposed to do one on each side um, and see if that works so to test this out this is kind of weird. So to go ahead and test this out, um, you can kind of see like this end, you can see closer. It's basically the same size. It's not like huge. So um, I guess it has like this type of end where it looks kind of like an arrow. Let's see if you can get that. Focus camera, focus. So yeah, you can see it's kind of like an arrow and it just forms a nice little point and it's got a pretty good point on there. So that would be my concern is whether or not the point transfers or not. Um, it does have a little loopy thing, so this is this side, so it's gonna go like that. Um, which my hands are really stable today, like they're not super shaky, but this would be amazing for people with shaky hands because you wouldn't have to like worry about whether or not it's actually going to like make the point and then it would just be a lot less hassle because all you'd have to focus on is like the actual part of your eye where you just drag it over so I don't have like any makeup really on right now I don't have any eye makeup on um I have some mascara as always but I really don't have much on today so this is going to be kind of a true test um but yeah I guess you can do this side that and this side like that so, um, the products I'm going to go ahead and use to test this out with, hold on, let's read the packaging first. The struggle for the perfect wing ends here. Conquer this complicated makeup technique with minimal effort, perfect symmetry, and a huge dose of sexy sass. Um, the pen and stamp allows for a smooth and perfected wing liner that will immediately up your makeup cred. Use with our Vink Eyeliner Ink or your favorite liquid or gel liner. So... I'm gonna try it with both. I'm gonna use my favorite um, gel liner, which is by Bobbi Brown. It is the Longwear Gel Eyeliner. I have it in black ink. Um, I do have other colors in this, but I'm just gonna use black for now. And then my other favorite liquid eyeliner, which is the Makeup Forever um, Ink Liner. So we're gonna see if this thing works. So first thing I'm gonna go ahead and test is this Bobbi Brown, because I feel like if you just stamp it in, it should just be really easy. I'm gonna test it on my hand first, because I'm really curious. Um, I wanna do this side of my face first. So you have to make sure the curve goes up right there. So I'm gonna try this side of my face first. Um, and let me move my mirror over so I can see. So you guys can get a good view. I'm gonna turn it on the magnified part. Oh, and I did tan today, so that's why I look very tan and glowy and not pale as I usually am. Okay, so stab it in there, I guess. 
is not really evenly coating. You have to really stab it in there. Like, look at all the product buildup on the sides. That's so gross. That's kind of like a waste. So I'm going to try to get that off of there. Um, because it's not really, like, coating it evenly. I wonder if I use... Okay, I'm going to use a Q-tip and spread it across there evenly because it's just looking like gross, disgusting mess. All right. Spreading it. I guess I'll, like, dab it on there. But the tip is, like, really not defined after me. I don't know if I, like, pressed it in there too much or what. This is not looking very cute. I'm hoping that liquid liner works better than this. Okay, so I took a Q-tip and I'm, like, spreading it across the sides just to make sure it looks, like, super nice and get it on there kind of even. I'm hoping it's not already drying because this is kind of taking me a while to do. I'm having to use two hands because, yes, my hands are shaky. Okay, so I think that's, like, evenly coated. Can you see that? Um, I think it looks pretty decent, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out. <laughs> this is making me nervous. I hope I don't mess it up. Oh, there's a little cat hair in there. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. It didn't do anything. I, it dried already. I'm going to try it again. Okay, so apparently it already dried. Um, let's try this again. Okay, wipe it off with a tissue. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that dot off my face so it doesn't look like I did something already. Um, and so we can have some like true results with this vampy stamp thing. I mean, I saw the review that Tati did and she, like, she had a pretty on-point liner. And that's really what, like, kind of convinced me to do it. So YouTube made me do it, but story of my life. All right, so this time I'm not going to stamp it into my pot. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a new Q-tip. I'm getting black all over my hands. Ah! Okay. So we're going to use a new Q-tip. Dab it in there and this is actually like I just got this pot. So this is pretty fresh It's not like it's been sitting in my makeup collection forever. Um, I recently changed it out What side do I do? Okay, this side this side Okay, so I'm gonna spread it across really it's not sticking to it Like it's not hmm, I don't know that shut up Alexa It's not sticking on there. Okay, I think I got it. Um, okay, let's try this again. What the heck? Is it stamp on the back of my hand? Let's try that. No. Okay, well, don't use this because I tried it how many times and it's not working. It's not like staying on there. It's just not doing anything. It's not like transferring over like it says it should. Like it should at least give some type of outline and all I have on my face right here is this dot. That's not enough. It's supposed to do the whole thing. Why am I having such problems with you? Tati made it look so easy. Ugh. Okay. Let's try this again, once again, wipe off that little dot off my face. If I had like real makeup going on like right now, this would be really pissing me off because like, if I had foundation and everything already done, this would just be not cool. Um, Alright, oh, I noticed this before, it says right, left. That would be smart. Okay, so I'm going to take this and coat it. And I think... You have to be fast with this. Okay, it's kind of hard to get it to stick on there really well. I think I'm taking too long. It's already drying. Okay, be fast.
Okay, so <laughs> if you look up close, which you guys can't see, so I'm gonna get really close and personal real quick. Dude, that looks so bad. All right, so let's try the other side. <laughs> that looks horrible. Um, and please apologize, it's Sunday. I am wearing my winter park hoodie because I live in Colorado and I own like 10 of these. Um, okay, so I think I need to do it more straight and I'm gonna actually like, I'm gonna try a little harder on this one. Really? This sucks. <laughs> okay, this thing is not working. Okay, I'm gonna try it on the back of my hand. Because apparently this is like, this looks really bad. It just doesn't look good. Tati made it look really good. Why am I having so much troubles with this? Okay, I'm gonna try it on the back of my hand. There's my other one. Am I just pressing too hard on it? Okay, I'm gonna press lighter and see if that works. Maybe that's my problem. Okay, I'm gonna try again because you know what? We can keep trying. Take all that crap off. Take all that crap off. Let's go again. First you fail and just try, try again. <sighs> Stinking vamp stamp, but I really want you to work. Make my life easier. Please. Please. Oh. Okay. I think it's pretty well coated. Oh, right, left. That's left. I think I did it. I think I did it. Look, that actually looks pretty decent. Okay. Except my placement is just not good. That's a user error. At least the part's working. So, okay. So, I've been using like the thicker part of my brush to spread it on, and it's been a lot better. And then press lightly. I was pressing too hard. Well, that just sucked again. Okay, I give up. Um, I might keep trying with this product, but if I were really doing my makeup, this would really piss me off. Um, I think this looks horrible. Um, I spent probably 20, I don't know how much I spent. I'll, I'll put it in here somewhere and I'll link it below and have all that good mess so you guys can find out what this thing really does cost, but I'm pretty sure it was like 20 something bucks. I ordered it because I saw Tati review it and I thought, oh, this is awesome. And since I have shaky hands, I will do anything to be able to do eyeliner quicker and faster and easier. And you know what? This, this is just a no go. It's just pissing me off. I've tried it with the Bobbi Brown gel liner and it sucked. Um, and then I went ahead and I tried it with this Makeup Forever ink liner, which is my favorite ink liner, and it just sucked. So, you know what? I'm giving this a product a thumbs down because this is just way too complicated. I don't understand. Like, I can move fast and get it on there, but it just doesn't... This would be a pain in my butt, even more of a pain in my butt than just drawing on the winged eyeliner myself. So, you know what? Like, I just tried this for how long, and it's just no go. Um, pretty sure they have a waiting list for this amazing product, but I literally spent, like, a week on the waiting list, which is really nothing, and honestly just makes me think it's shipping directly from China if it's taking three weeks. Um... So there's that to consider, but I'm not completely sure, so do not quote me on that. But I just am not a fan of this vamp stamp so far. This thing kind of sucks. So vamp stamp is not approved by me. I 
Hope maybe the company contacts me and tells me how to use it because I apparently cannot figure it out. I might keep trying again and then I'll post an update if I do. But as of right now, this is not approved, not my thing. And you know what? This was a waste of my money. I'm going to see if they have a return policy because I want my 20 bucks back. <laughs> so I know it's only $20 and it was worth it for the review, but no. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. I really don't care, but I really appreciate you watching me to the end of this video. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.